is him calling now. Speaking to Madam Monisha, good morning. Hello. Hello, who is this? My name is Lodell. OK, uh, good morning, Lodell. We went on a very important phone call. Y'all got some Drake tickets? No, Lodell, we don't have Drake tickets. Hi. Y'all got some milk. No, Liddell, we don't have any milk. Can you call us back? We're waiting on a very important call. Uh, I will be right back. Keep all the lines open. Will you two get it together? We're expecting a call from the President of the United States. But that's will what you calm down, Simone? You all in my area, messing up my business. Everybody calm down. Listen, we need to be intelligent and dignified. Obama, baby. I can't wait. I can't wait for you to take off that Obama sports bra. Wait, 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 wait. I think this might be him calling right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello, Ricky. Hey. Are you there? Yes, I'm here, Mr. President. Good morning. Well, thank you, Ricky. I'll be in town next week for my birthday celebration and the fundraiser we're hosting together. I'd like to stop by your studio for an interview. Hey, Mr. President, you're welcome to come anytime. Thank you so much for even considering us. I'm excited to have you. Well, that's great. Everybody there can pass a background check, right? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm serious. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We got you covered, Mr. President. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll take care of it. And thank you for calling us, Mr. President, and uh, we look forward to seeing you. I'm Freaks of the Morning Show. We out of here. Oh, yeah. Whoa. All right, we did that. <laughs> Where are you going? Aren't you excited? No, I'm nervous as hell. Not you. You know what? Ricky's right. He's a person just like all of us. Chill, you know what I mean? No, 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 he's not a person just like all of us. He's a person that has access to information about your past, like who you knew, what you knew, who you did it with, and how many times you did it. Maurice. And where? Hey, 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 calm down. Take your shirt off. It is my thing. No. Listen, Ricky's right. We need to handle this with class and dignity. Right. <laughs> oh, mama! <laughs> oh, oh, mama! Yo, Ricky! to see me, Maurice. Oh, uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, has Ricky calmed down yet? Obama! <laughs> Almost. Uh, 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 come on in, come on in. Have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Have a seat. No, 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 right there. Sit in the good chair. I don't even want to. I don't care about that. There you go. Um, have a seat. Uh, look, I need you to do me a favor. Mm hmm I need to use your social security number for the presidential background check. Oh, is that all? Yes. Okay, write this down. Okay, good, good. See, that wasn't that bad, I knew. You ready? I'm ready. It's 413-2929. Have you lost your mind? Come on. First of all, the background search would come back as a woman. Secondly, I don't like you. I don't care. I am desperate. What else is new? Look, I am not going to pass the presidential clearance. Why not? Well, it was the early 90s, right? Mm -hmm. My band was playing at the Cuban Freak Nick. There was a lot of damn tequila. It can't be that bad. Can't be that bad. Will you look at this? Is that a... Yes, that's the biggest one they had. And they came two to a pack. <laughs> Are you? Look, it was the early 90s. There was no rules. There was no laws. There was a lot of damn tequila. What makes you think I can do anything? I mean, you know people in Washington. You can make some calls. To who? The whiz? <laughs> Maurice, that stuff can't be undone. Can't be undone? So are you saying there's no... Ooh, may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> I don't even know these people. <laughs> That's the last of the kids' clothes. Well, good. Now Aaron can stop recycling his drawers. <laughs> no, he's gonna keep doing that. What made you change your mind about the custody balance? Kids have friends. They're in great schools. I didn't want to disrupt their lives. 
Hmm. Well, you know, you and I have had our differences, Monica, but I really do admire you for doing the right thing and giving Ricky full custody. Oh, you really mean that, Sylvia? Honey, you didn't stand a chance in hell of keeping them kids. <laughs> but I'm glad you changed your mind. It says a lot about you as a mother. Thank you. I think. <laughs> Oh, and speaking of mothers. Hey, Seth. Hey, darling. You know you find you some nice stuff on the clearance rack. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dee. Oh, she look just like a mama. No, I, I am Dee's mama. Y'all not gonna clean up before the president comes? I just cleaned this house, and he's not coming here. I don't blame him, honey. Cleanliness is next to godliness, and you, this house so nice that the roaches be wearing footies. Wait, who's coming? Oh, is so there cute. something you need, Sister Bernice? Yes, listen, I want to ask you something. I, 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 do me a favor. What? The Women's Missionary Mass Trio want to sing on the program for President Barack Obama. We only want to do an A and B selection. Wait, 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 wait. See, what, what, what's she talking about? We've been singing for African-American Negroes for years. I know that, but listen, if that's Africa, all well and good, I... We sung for Jesse, we sung for Martin. You sang for Martin Luther King? Martin Lawrence. We were walking dancing in a hotel like that. Now, y'all, you think he had a show one night and start singing on it? Yeah. <laughs> Listen to me, listen to me, listen here. If the president was coming here, you could sing, you could dance, you could dug it, you could boogaloo, you could do anything you want to do, but he's not coming here. He's only going to be at the studio for a little while. Listen, listen, do you know I went to the prom with Billy Dean? Williams? Williams? Watkins, I got a picture of it right here. I believe it was a long time ago back uh, when he had that barber shop over there uh, off of Mom's and Mathematics. It was a long time ago. I feel like someone going to tell me that the president is going to be at the studio. Monica, the president is going to be at the studio. <laughs> I have to go get ready. I got to go get my hair done. I got to go shop for a dress. Oh, I got to get my hair done. You going to get your hair done twice? You need to do it three times, baby. Look at them roots. Baby, that had nappy as a sheep's ass. I don't care how you wrap it. So let me explain to you the protocol, Mr. Sweats. Please. Don't give a damn. As White House liaison for presidential visits, I conduct all clearances and sweeps all clear well we don't need sweeps around here we've got custodians that come in and they... <laughs> you hiding something no not a lot, a lot of damn tequila oh uh, maurice uh... <laughs> this is ricky ricky uh... smiley yes. woodlawn high school raised by his grandmother three children classically trained pianist size ten and a half shoe eats 173 cookies annually <laughs> lemon cookies Damn, what's my bullet? Oh, uh, negative. Oh, Lord, I'm going to prison. Hi, I'm... Simone, single, five foot two, brown eyes, 110 pounds, and eats way too much fried chicken alone. Country fried chicken. <laughs> All of that's in your notes? None of that's in my notes. <laughs> Stop doing that. All done with the background checks. Yes. For now. Cool. I want to talk to you about these building plans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, now, look. Mm -hmm. Is this roof access here still blocked off? Oh, yeah, everything's in. Everything's locked, welded, and super glued, man. Oh, that's too bad. Why? Because I know you got an herb garden going. Well, it used to be up there, but I some we it's all gone. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Business cancel. Why is that? Listen, roof access evacuation is mandatory in all high occupancy buildings. Well, I'll build another roof. I'll cut a hole in it. I I'll set the roof on fire. Really? Yes. Really. The roof is on fire. The, is that the roof is on fire? No, 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 no. Look, look here, Sweats. Sweet. Don't give a damn. <laughs> look, if you can't find another secure location, the president can't do the interview. I got just the place. Ricky, where you want the DJ set up? <laughs> Where you want it? In the kitchen, man? I wanted the same place you bought that halter top. Back the hell out of here. You understand? The president of the United States is coming to my house. Do you know what that means? That means no twerking on the front lawn. No, that means that we're going to do this with first class yeah, and yeah, dignity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Maurice, uh -huh. here's the pole you told me oh, to bring. Good. All right? Yeah. What the hell is that? To hang the station banner. Obama. Yeah, Ooh. come on. Yeah, come on. Well, I thought y'all were about to bring some. What's up, man? 
Oh, John Barack in here. You can't even wash your own clothes and you're gonna be on a first name basis with the president of the United States? See, you worried about the wrong thing. How did you get home? I, I couldn't get a ride, so I caught a cab. From Montgomery to Atlanta? Yeah, man. Somebody need to pay the driver. Couldn't miss the president. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. And before you do, I got some good news and I got some bad news. I'm a background check results. You failed it? Yeah, but I'm gonna hack into the CIA database and I'm gonna clear all that up. You know how I do it, Dad. You know how I do it. Dad. I don't have time to shop for new clothes, so can you tell the president to come next week? He'll be in Afghanistan. Is that near downtown? Listen, Sasha Malia is not gonna care about what you have on. You look nice, okay? Who? You know what? Just go upstairs and read all the encyclopedias or every book you can find twice. Wait. Ma uh, Ma Malia's coming? Oh, yeah, little man. You never know, the president might bring his whole family. You sure with your suit on from the Steve Harvey Jr. collection. Look at you, boy. Ooh, smells like my rack of lamb is ready. Rack of lamb? I don't eat rack of lamb. Baby, this isn't for you. This is all for Barack. Or as I call him, Barry. Wait, Mal Malia's coming? What's wrong with Aaron? Just hop all that perfume you have on. Get away from me. See, I got toilet hands. I got broiled tilapia, mixed vegetables. I tell you what, scallops. I tell you what we need. What? What we brulee? really need? What? And some flashlights. Yeah, we blew a fuse with it. Off two turntables. We do a laser show. Like we put no Obama space in the sky. You know what I'm saying? No, oh, gotta get it. Where's flashlight? Gotta get flashlight. 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 Now is not a good time. The president of the United States come in this house and y'all can't even pay the light bill. But the devil's a liar! Yes, Stop. 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 Before you have to leave. Where are we going? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> help me up, help me up. Mm. 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 Thank you, baby. Whew. I almost rocked myself to sleep. <laughs> now, where you want this casserole for the presidential potluck? The what? The presidential potluck, baby. I put this a spam casserole with some chicken breast on it, then I do a little cabbage round the side, a little cream of chicken, because you know cream of chicken go in I'm everything. Yeah. This is nice. He that, that's, love that's sweet, Sister Bernice, but I already cooked. <coughs> Child, they're going to put you in jail and kill that man. Sister Bernice, with no due respect, you are not going to come up in here and take over this house like you always do. Talking about how dirty this house is and with your spam. You can casserole yourself right on out of here. May I help you? Come on in there, Daniel. Come on. Come on, baby. Sit, sit right there. What? Sit right over. Sit right over. Don't pay her no attention, yeah? It's your birthday, Mr. President. He ain't here yet. Yeah. Jesus. Now, excuse me. This is not a concert. Ricky! Ricky! Ah! Ricky, do something about this. <laughs> All clear. Getting ready for the big day, Mr. Smiley? Uh, trying to. Come on in. Uh... Mm -hmm. My Aunt Sylvia. Sylvia, yes, yes. A.K.A. the Soul Train Soldier. What? Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Mm -hmm. See, your Aunt Sylvia helped Russian dancers get on Soul Train without day work visas. I didn't know they were Russian. They did this. For every song, super quick. Square bit. So easy like Sunday morning. She's a very kinky girl. I don't know what y'all talking about. Don't know me like that. Uh, uh, that's Bernie's jinky. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The 
Birmingham Bingo Bin. Yeah. She's been running illegal bingo games at churches all throughout the tri-state area. I don't steal, baby. Every single dime of that money go towards the building fund. And who pays the tax? Jesus paid it all. <laughs> I like the excuse. Now I'd like to turn my attention and discuss with you about somebody's visit to Cuba. Who been to Cuba? All right, Ricky, everything's set about that. Oh, damn. It is a federal offense to smuggle contraband into the U.S. from Cuba, especially Cuban donkey teeth. Yeah, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, he would mix with mustard greens and motor oil that forms a hallucinogenic aphrodisiac. That's a shame. This epidemic started at the Cuban Freak Nick of 98. Mm -hmm. Apparently, some treasonous has been smuggling this stuff into our country for years. Who is it? Well, according to my background check done at the radio station, is none oh, other. This Obama than... thing is about to be off the chain. Kenny Denzel Watt. Oh my God, man, what have you done? You some kind of Billy D. Watkins. <laughs> no. Man, what's going on? Come on, Kenny, do your time like a man. Is he here yet? No! <gasps> oh, my God. Simply amazing. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> you have just made my life complete. That's my ex-wife, Monica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Monica. The motherfucker! <gasps> Monica, that's Deanna, boy. <gasps> Those charges were dismissed. Mm -hmm. What about all those little girls you had selling assorted fudges on the street? I was in high school. We were taking over the Girl Scout corner, uh -huh. and, and everybody doesn't like those damn cookies. Well, my grandmama like those oh, damn grandma, cookies. Grandma, Let me tell you what you're going to do. Grandma, what you going to do? Grandma, what you going to do? Grandma, what you going to do? What you hiding for? Jesus. In short, Mr. Smiley, no one in this room has cleared the background check, so you will not be seeing the president a day. <laughs> Mom sent me an email, and I think we got one more background check to do. Ooh, yours. Did you find anything? Yep. Okay, Man. what's going on? Ooh. I made a few calls to some friends in Washington about Drew. Why, why you do that? Like, mm -hmm. this, this uh, you mean Drew the draw snatcher? I knew it. <laughs> why you gotta bring it to pass? Apparently, because somebody got into politics. They used to run the largest counterfeit women's underwear ring in the country. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Aura, it's bad energy in the room. I don't like Explain it. Explain these pictures of you modeling women's underwear mm. in a Chinese sweatshop. That's not me. Oh, that tattoo on your chest says Drew has a heart. Yeah, yeah, see, but that's, that's D-R-E-W, you know? I spell mine with a U like Drew Hill. That's... Oh, that's why there's a Cisco the Dragon tattoo right down the middle of you. Look here, look here. I'm telling you what we're going to do. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to clear everybody. That's, that's how we're going to do that. Yeah, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Eagle One to the nest. Yeah, send Papa Bird on to the funny farm. Copy. <laughs> President's on his way. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not ready yet. Drow's next, huh? <laughs> you and Drow's next. I sent the motorcade to another house. Where? Tyler Perry's house. <laughs> All clear. Wait, wait, but wh why? And what's so funny about a man walking around with a dress on anyhow? Shotgun. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. 